This is one of my favorite quotes of all time. Never throughout history has a person who lived a life of ease left a name worth remembering. This is one of my favorite quotes because if you want to be the leader, you want to be the guy, you want to be a head coach, you want to coach college football, you want to be in charge, you want to be able to be the buck stops here type guy, people will hate your guts. That was the greatest lesson I ever learned was the minute somebody didn't like me. It was in high school. We were 14 and 0, 14 and 0, but this is my sophomore year. Well, the popular junior girl who was really pretty was dating our linebacker. And I was called up to varsity as a freshman and as a sophomore. Well, she broke up with him, and then she asked me out to the dance. Oh, I said, yes. Why not? I was a little, I looked just like this. <laughs> I went through a hair stage, and we got rid of that. But it was, a, I was oh, this is great. And then immediately... He hated me and got that whole junior, senior class to despise me, bully me, do all those things. On one just that I didn't even ask my, I didn't ask myself out, you know. I, I didn't hire myself at the University of Minnesota. I just said yes. That's all. But it's one of those things, if you want to be the leader, the young people these days, this is what they struggle with. This is what they struggle with. It's not the phone that's the problem. It's the ability to handle things like this. This is why they need you. This is why they need that education, that 20, 30-minute team meeting to build the things that they're actually believing on YouTube. My son, eight years old, Carter Fleck, watches on YouTube people playing a video game. <laughs> You're laughing. My 10-year-old son, Gavin, watches other people who get paid a lot of money to play Fortnite. Heck of a game. But he watches YouTube to watch that person play. And that's entertainment. Unbelievable to us. We don't understand that. Right? But that's what they go in. So again, when they get criticism, when they get shots on media, when you just look up somebody's name, the Twitter trolls, that affects them. But educating them through things like this and daily teachings, daily educational pieces, that's what matters. And that's when you get a team to really connect and want to play for you. Because if they don't play for you, there's no way you are going to have success in your program beyond what you have at an average type level. The ones in this room that are winning state championships over and over and over, I know, because I see a lot of your kids, they love you. They don't like you, they love you. They play for you. They are, I play for Dave Nelson. I don't play for just Minnetonka. I play for the Dave Nelson. That's powerful, guys. And it's a start to understanding what failing, which we, equals grow, which we define equals growth, feels like. If you want to lead a life of significance as a coach, teach, teacher, educator, you got to be okay with all the negativity that comes your way, which is very difficult to do.